sometimes you find the beat so cold, you just got to let it ride before you tell them, Jim Style! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Hey, check it out, man. I might be letting it grow out, but it's still fresh. Now, when you get up in here, look at that. Ooh, look at the lineup. Still fresh from the barbershop, BK of the People's Temp, coming to you live with another video. We got the Gym Star shirts, they'll be in the store today. Work harder, shine brighter, Gym Star. Speaking of which, man, we got our Gym Star today. Uh, we got all that, we got a lot to talk about. We got my co-host, Cap Calloway. And uh, you know, when we have him up here, we always know that it's some all caps going on. And so we just gonna get right into what we're talking about today, man. Look, first things first, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. If you got a gym star moment, you know, we'll get to that later. But let's just get right into the news, man. Look, I don't know if you guys play Rec or if you play any type of competitive mode where you actually can file people, but the flagrant files must stop. They're a big problem. Now, I've not lost any games because of it, but I do play center. And now that I'm playing center, I'm noticing a lot that... Bro, it's like you could be in the first quarter and have three flagrant fouls or something like that. If this was a real game, that'd be to put you out of the game, brother. So I don't I don't know what's up with that. And the thing is, I've seen that people absolutely know how to force those. So it's not one of those things where it's a fluke where you might get one here, one there. It's one of those issues where people know how to do it and they know how to jump into you, get a flagrant foul, and and get get it to where they're gonna get two shots and the ball. I don't have a problem if that was something that just happened every now and then, because you know the computer will flagrantly file you and they'll never give it to you. But when people can actually enact that, that could really cost you a game. That's something that could, 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 it could come down to the end and the dude induces a flagrant file because he knows how to do it. And then boom, you lost the game. I've not lost a game to it yet, but I used to fuss at my sentence. I'm like, bro, don't jump. And they're like, I didn't do anything. I'm like, bro, you had to press something. And then when I started playing center, I'm like, yo, I'm not hitting anything. I'm standing here with my hands up, or I haven't even gotten a chance to get my hands up yet, and I get a flagrant foul. That's crazy. It is what it is, man. Let me know if that's happened to you guys. It's something that definitely needs to be addressed, but after we address some of the other things, and have you guys lost a game to that? I don't know. Like, I, I haven't lost a game to it just yet, but I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I know I'm going to get that perfect storm of somebody that knows how to induce a flagrant foul, and they're gonna be at a bad position. They're gonna say, just give it to me inside. I'll get a flagrant foul, and they're gonna do it, and it's gonna happen, and I'm gonna lose. And then this pretty new controller that I just bought, it's gonna get broken. I mean, or my TV or something like that. Anyway, on to our next thing. Listen, man, the elephant in the room, shooting. We know that shooting has taken a very big backseat in this game. Right now, right now what we got is we got we have people shooting the ball, and like I was watching Zuli Zuli. Zuli is out there like he's, bro, he is like, I can't hit nothing. I'm talking about people that I know that hit, that shoot like 80%, high 70%. Now I know what the first some thing somebody's gonna say, eh, eh, nobody should be shooting that, bro. It's a video game. You can't use, nobody should be 5'7 ducking on nobody, but it happens. You not ducking on a 7'3 center like that, really. Somebody's gonna cite the one time Vince Carter jumped over somebody's head and did it, bro. It's an anomaly. We're just talking about, I mean, Steph Curry probably went, I mean, uh, what? Well, not Steph, but your boy Clay has, has scored 51 points and scored 37 and a quarter. It's an anomaly. But what we're saying is shooters should be more consistent, not because of the fact that we want to shoot lights out. We want to punish bad defense. When people play bad defense, you want to punish it. That's why people feel like shooting should be more consistent. But as it stands, shooting is so bad right now. And I'm going to tell you why it's so bad. It's so bad because instead of having a, a moving shot rating and a standing shot rating, this year they just called it shooting. And then they acted like the, there are things behind the scenes that influence these as well. So there's another stat. Like we thought there was another ball control stat or something like there's no other stat. The only thing that really influenced it was your, ball, your ability to speed boost with your ball handling and your speed. Once you meet two thresholds, then you're good. And there, and there was a sliding scale too, so you could be high on one and a little bit lower on the other one and you would still be able to speed boost. But then it ended up being 86 ball control and then that was just it. 
So I, we, we know that there are no hidden stats in the game. So because we know that, we know that shooting the shooting stat is tied together, period. Those things, are they're, they're right together. It's, it's moving shot and standing shot, and it's just combined into shooting. Now, this is causing a problem because they tried to take it down. So they dropped, they dropped shoot, they dropped the moving shots down to like 40% because they were going in at a higher rate than the than the standing shot. But that was because when you shoot a moving shot, it's the same timing every time. And I told y'all in an earlier video that when you shoot a standing shot, it's different timing every time. And because of that, people elected to use the moving shot because they knew it would be the same timing every time because you can see which moving shot animation you're gonna get. And if you chose the right one like Steph Curry or something, it's gonna be quick every time so you didn't have to worry about it. But if you shoot a standing shot, if you catch it with your right hand, there's a different timing. If you catch it with your left hand, there's a different timing. If you catch it and square up, there's a different timing. If you dribble with your left hand and then catch it, there's a different timing. If you dribble with your right hand and then do it, there's a different timing. That's why 2K Lab only does catch and shoot because the timing is so different between if, if you take one step forward, one step back, like uh, we, we come together, opposites track. Hey, look, you do any of that, the timing is different. So that's why it seemed like moving shots were going in at a higher rate when they really, they were, but they were just easier to shoot. They were just being shot more because it was just easier to shoot them because it's easier to time because you didn't have to deal with all the time and elements. See, if you play your own game, you know these things. I'm in this game. I know that, bro, they need to hire me over there. The, the, the correct way to fix this would have been this. You already get a certain number of badges based upon how many badges you have in that category, how many points you have put toward a category, meaning you already get, like, like you can't get Hall of Fame difficult shots if you don't have enough points allocated toward the shooting category, right? So what they should have done, and I don't know if they can still do this, but if they can, they need to cut whatever the moving shot part of it is, turn that all the way down, attach moving shots to difficult shots, to the difficult shot badge. You remember when I was saying they should tweak badges rather than tweaking actual gameplay? This is why I was saying that because now they're completely broken shooting. And yes, somebody's in the comments saying I'm shooting 55% and 60 from three. Bro, I'm shooting 70 from the field and 57% from three. That's not good when I'm taking wide open shots every time. 55%, it ain't, it's an unrealistic percentage. Yes, it is, but it's not good. People are used to, somebody like Zuli used to shooting almost 90%, 70%, 80%. He like, yo, bro, you got comp guards shooting like 30s and 40%. Comp stage guards, the dudes that didn't never miss. And I know y'all gonna be like, we don't care about them. They used to change the game. Bro, but they have excellent timing. Why are they missing wide open shots? I even seen G Sight stream last night. He ain't even shooting moving shots no more. He's running, coming to a stop, and pop which you would argue that's how you're supposed to play. But even those aren't really consistent, and if they ain't green, they ain't going in. It is what it is. Like I said, they should take the moving shot stat, attach it. If you can do that right now, Mike, I know you're watching the video. Take the moving shot stat, attach it to difficult shots, and you say, difficult shots bronze, 25%. Difficult shots uh, silver, 50. Difficult shots, um, you know, uh, gold, uh, 60. And then you put uh, like a, a, a 80 moving shot, uh, attached to Difficult Shots Hall of Fame. Boom, turn the stat all the way down on the actual on the actual shooting and then make shooting back how it was. And then now if you don't have Difficult Shots, you're not gonna hit a moving shot. That way you tweak badges rather than tweaking the actual gameplay and so the only people that use the badges do it. Now you have to have Difficult Shots in order to shoot a moving shot. That's how, that's how you should fix it, man. Like. I don't see why it's really that hard. This is how it should have been done in the first place. It's just like with unpluckable. If you don't want to get plucked that much, you should you should have unpluckable. And then if you want to be able to steal the ball, if you if you don't got pickpocket, they should they should you should have like a, a, a two percent chance to steal the ball or something like that. Because you elected not to get defensive badges. You made that election and said I'm just gonna rely on the on the masses to protect me. It's just like not getting inoculated. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll rely on the masses to protect me. And then you know what people will say, eh, inoculations are bad. They give you this and that. No, it's the perversion of inoculations. If, if we didn't have inoculations, then we'd, we'd all be, uh, we'd all have, you know, the, the plague would not be gone. And, uh, you know, all the stuff that people haven't had in 30 years, like polio and all that, you know, that we think of as uh, extinct, they're extinct because we're inoculated against it. But, you know, 
It's, it's the perversion of that, just like religion. But, hey, it, it ain't bad. It's the perversion of it. Anyway, we can't get into all of that, man. I'm telling you, man. Extra woke. Oh, woke, woke easy in the building. Put woke easy in the comments. Anyway, like I said, it's the perversion of it. But, but you knew that people were going to abuse something anyway. And it's really not abusing it. It's just that they feel like they couldn't hit anything else. So let's do that. Attach moving shots to difficult shots. Take it off of the regular stat. Put it on difficult shots. If you don't got difficult shots, you can't you can't do it. And do the same thing with steals. Turn steals down so low that if you can't get defense, you can't you can't get steals. It doesn't make sense for somebody that didn't put defense in their bill that has a 30 steal to be ripping my boy T Mizzle, who has Hall of Fame unpluckable, a 91 ball control, and he's not dribbling in anybody's face. They're just running up and pressing square because they know they have a 50-50 chance. Nothing bad can happen when you press square in this game. You're either going to shoot the shot, and then you're going to shoot it up, hit it. Well, anyway, man, we can't talk about that. I mean, right now the shooting is so bad that people ain't even playing defense. They're just dang near just leaving people open and just running out. And that's another thing that we got to talk about, man. The runouts in the game have been horrendous since 2016. I mean, since, since, since uh, 2K16 iteration. Like, if, if you can just whip the ball down the court and, they, and you had to play defense... I'll play actual offense. Every possession of the game will be better. But, bro, we know since, since since 16, you don't even need break starter. All you got to do, grab the ball, and before your feet hit the ground, if you make your selection and throw it to the guy, nine times out of ten, you will not throw that ball away. It does not matter where he is on the court. If you pass it as soon as you get it, everybody know that. They watch my videos. Of course they know that. But, hey, it is what it is. Like, we, 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 got, we, we got that done. And the last thing that I'm talking about this morning that we need, and then, and then we're going to go into the Mike Mike Wong and his tweets and, and Zach Timmerman and all that. Look, the speed difference has to be addressed. My man Grindhart got 99 speed on his guard, bro. And centers can dribble the ball down court faster than he can, and he can't even catch them. What is that? I don't get it. There is no speed difference. That's why when you make, I know a lot of people are making big men right now. When you make your big men, don't even worry about speed. It's a, it's a, it's, it's an irrelevant stat. You don't even need speed. So don't even worry about it because you can't catch nobody anyway. And, and it really, there really is no speed difference. You can just, just buzz up and down the court. Doesn't matter. Anyway, man, let's get on to what we, what we really here to get on to today. The tweets and all of that good stuff from Mike Wong and uh, Zach Timmerman. Now look, he says, Losing points in Pro-Am to quitters is a is known and will be patched. So what he's saying is they're gonna they, they know that when people quit out that you lose points and they're gonna address that. That's something that's good because I was always wondering that I'm like, no, yo, nobody wants to play against five bots, right? Nobody wants to play against bots in Pro-Am, but at the same time, I don't want to not get my points and then and I get a worse grade. Like you should get it. If we made them guys quit and we forced them out of the game, everybody should get an automatic 99 in my opinion. That means we must have either played that well or something happened on that end. It don't matter. I'm gonna take that. I wanna feel like we played that well. So let's get them up out of here, man. Give everybody a 99 and let's just go. And then that way people really probably either they're either not gonna quit or they're gonna play hard and try to really force people to quit. I really don't know which one's gonna happen. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's gonna be sweats in there trying to make you quit. Why? But all I know is I'll be in there trying to make some people quit. It is what it is. Look, he also said that the 99 rating is driven by win, loss, and individual performance, not teammate grade. Uh, the closest I can compare it to is takeover. If your takeover bar is moving steadily, you will get you'll get a a, a perfect score. Uh, win loss has has more weight in park and pro-am than individual uh the individual performance has more weight in, in my career that's true but if you're not playing well you're not gonna get a good teammate grade so you know what i'm saying hey it, I, I, hey hold, hold on one second my, my co-host wants to say something that's cap jay what do you mean cap well if you're not playing well are you gonna get a are you gonna get a good teammate grade no you're not gonna get a good teammate grade if you're if you're not playing well well then, that's Cap. What he's talking about? Hey, exactly. That's Cap right there, Mike. You can't if you're not if you're not playing well. If you're playing well, you're gonna get a good teammate grade. That's just period point blank. So I'm gonna have to agree with my co-host Cap Callaway. Anyway, um, it's not directly tied to it, but at the same time, I, I mean, I guess you can have a, a lot of hold the ball too long and a lot of difficult shots and stuff like that. Who knows, man? It is what it is. Let them guys do what they do. All right. Zach Timmerman, look for a solid badge buff, badge buff progression in the near future. So look, people are tired of grinding these badges, man. Nobody don't want to be sitting here grinding badges 
all day long. I'm going to start grinding badges for people. A lot of people have hit me up. I'm going to get with you. I'm going to set up a time. I'm off a lot of this week, so I'll be able to get a lot of them done. Me and Man Man Grindhard are coming up with a price list, and we're getting a team together, and we're going to get this done for you guys. We're going to be the most trusted badge grind. This has been our, this, look, bro, no cap. This has been our idea since, two th since, since NBA 2K17. This has been our idea. Other people just took our idea and got rich off of it. It ain't the first time. I can name at least five or six people that gotten rich off of my ideas and my actions and stuff like that. We ain't going to talk about that right now. If you've been with me for a long time, you know what I'm talking about. But, hey, we needed that buff the badge because nobody don't want to be sitting here grinding badges all day. And last but not least, uh, Mike said something that confirmed something that I was uh saying in the beginning that people thought I was tripping man like people really thought I was tripping it says um let me see how we gonna do this it says Baluba well he just said yeah it does but the question was hey Baluba does brick wall drain energy like bruiser used to or 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 does it only drain energy when you scream and he says yeah, it does. So it drains energy when screens are set. And he says, yeah, it does. Or, or not set. And he says, yeah, it does. So it drains energy when screens are not set. Okay. And then he said, I mean, that's crazy. Because I said that in the beginning and people were like, I was like, I'm going to get brick wall because I want to drain energy while I'm riding, you know, pause, while I'm, while I'm bodying people up. And so people thought I was crazy, but it is what it is. Anyway, man, we got to get up out of here. But our last thing, our last thing for the day is for our gym star. Gym star today, ladies and gentlemen. We got my boy Tyreek Toots. They should call him Tyreek Dukes. Woo, look at the 55. Look at that hand speed. Bye. Bye, do you see that hand speed? Come on. Come on, the sweat. <laughs> know what I'm talking about? Boy, make me want to. Showing them hands, bye. <laughs> look at him hunting, picking his spots, ducking and dodging. Oh, look at him pulling back, bye. Like, let's see what he about to do, bye. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on, a little sparring session, man. But look at, ooh, look at the flurry off the beginning. That boy, that throwing the thing. That's our gym star today. Work harder, shine brighter. Gym star, man. And get that dog work in, like we say. Hey, my boy. He he got a uh, he got his site up. Uh, y'all can go over there to the site and check check it out, man. And um, you know, see if you want to buy those. If y'all want me to make a, make make us a special one, then we can do that. But I gotta get up out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you learned anything. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Make sure you like the video. Subscribe for more daily content. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, news, and more. I'll have a new jump shot for y'all tonight. As a matter of fact, get this video to 300 likes. As soon as it gets 300 likes, I'm going to drop the new jump shot. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.